The Beret class are a series of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines being constructed by Sevmash for the Russian Navy. The class has been replacing the steadily retiring Russian Navy Delta III and Delta IV classes, and fully retired Typhoon, all three classes being Soviet-era submarines. There are two variants, the base Bore class, Project 955, and the upgraded Bore A class, Project 955A. The Bore A variant incorporates improvements for increased performance and noise reduction. The first design work on the project started in the mid-1980s and the construction of the first vessel started in 1996. Previously, a short-lived, smaller parallel design appeared in mid-1980s with designation Project 935 Bore 2. Don't forget that these ballistic missile submarines are nuclear-powered, which means they get their power from nuclear reactors. This enables them to stay underwater for lengthy stretches of time and fire long-range missiles. The launch of the first submarine of the class, Yuri Dolgoruki, was scheduled for 2002, but was delayed because of budget constraints. Yuri Dolgoruki was not put into the water until February 2008. By July 2009, it had yet to be armed with Bulava missiles and was therefore not fully operational, although it was ready for sea trials on 24 October 2008. On 21 November 2008, the reactor on Yuri Dolgoruki was activated, and on 19 June 2009, the submarine began its sea trials in the White Sea. On 2 December 2010, the second of the Bore class, Alexander Nevsky, was moved to a floating dock in Sevmash shipyard. There, the final preparations took place before the submarine was launched. The submarine was launched on 6 December 2010 and began sea trials on 24 October 2011. The Kinyaz Vladimir, the first of the upgraded Project 955A and the fourth Bore class submarine, was taken out of the construction hall at the Sevmash shipyard on November 17, 2017. A year later the submarine was launched and it then began factory testing. During sea trials, the first image of the sixth ship in the class, the Generalissimus Suvorov, was released on October 25, 2022. She was being ready for commissioning on November 7, having completed all of her testing. For the Project 955A, Bore A version, these units include better acoustic signatures, communication and detection systems, and a new sail shape, in addition to significant structural modifications, including adding vertical end plates and all moving rudders to the hydroplanes for increased maneuverability. They can also sail at around 30 knots while submerged with less noise thanks to their upgraded screws and hydraulic jets. Despite initial reports that it will carry 20 Bulava SLBM, the 955A, like the previous 955 submarines, will be equipped with 16 SLBM that each have 6 to 10 nuclear warheads on top. Conversely, the Project 955B, Bore B version, was expected to come equipped with an updated hull, a new water jet propulsion system, and new noise reduction technologies. Four Project 955B boats were proposed, with the first unit scheduled to be delivered to the Russian Navy in 2026. The Rubin Design Bureau intended to start the concept design in 2018. Due to cost-effectiveness, the project was purportedly excluded from Russia's state armament program for 2018 till 2027. Rather, six further Bore A submarines were scheduled for construction following 2023. Starting in 2024, Sevmash is expected to commence construction with delivery to the Russian Navy scheduled for 2026 and 2027, respectively.